So you have a goal weight. This is a very common goal amongst our new clients, especially as we're gearing up towards the new year and new year's resolutions, which I personally love, by the way. You probably hear a lot of other fitness influencers just crapping on new year's resolutions. And while sure, I agree that it can be beneficial to get a head start on things and start sooner rather than later. We do have actual data to support the idea of a fresh start following temporal landmarks like starting on Monday or starting on the first. That's a whole nother video, but with new year's resolutions comes the idea of a goal weight and wanting to be at a specific weight at some point in your journey. And this is a topic that we've seen every single year, time and time again, since we started our business a whole decade ago. So I thought it was time to just make a video. In our onboarding applications, we often see people say something along the lines of, I was my happiest at 130 pounds, so I would like to get back to that or get under that. Now, before I respond to these clients, I like to challenge them and ask them why this number is so important to them. What is it about this specific number that is making them desire to get back to that? So if you clicked on this video because you have a goal weight, I want you to first and foremost think about why. Why do you want to be at that weight? What is so special about that number or about that time of your life that you were at this weight that is making you want to go back there? Why do you really love the idea of that number? So pause this video and take some time to do that first. If you did that, welcome back. Hopefully you realize more often than not, once we dig deeper into why we want to be that number, it's not really about the number at all. Chances are you got back to a time where maybe you just felt really confident in your body. Maybe your clothes fit a little bit better. Maybe it was a time in your life where you could be really selfish and you were sleeping nine hours per night. If you're a parent, that probably hits home. Maybe it was a time in your life where you were really consistent with working out and going to the gym and it just really felt good to be in that groove. Maybe you were really on point with your nutrition during that time in your life, which led to you having really great digestion. Your energy levels were soaring through the roof. You were sleeping better. Your stress was managed. The list kind of goes on and on and on when you think about it in that way, right? I had bet my nine chickens that your goal has absolutely nothing to do with the actual number on the scale. And more so has to do with how you want to feel in your body. So if, so if I could snap my fingers and make you your goal weight right now, but nothing else in your life changed. You're eating the same, you're doing the same thing as far as your training, you're feeling the same way. Would you really want to be that number? Would that truly make you happy? Probably not. The main issue with setting a goal weight and not really focusing on anything else progress wise is that you're then missing out on the entire journey of what you're trying to do. You become so hyper-focused on that number that you miss out on all of the other areas of progress, all of the other wins. Even if you're being reminded that those things are happening and you can see that those things are happening, it's almost like those things don't even matter because you didn't get to your goal weight and you're not at your goal weight yet. We've seen this time and time again with some of our clients that, you know, they're crushing strength PRs in the gym. Their clothes are fitting better. Their digestion has improved. They have more energy to spend with the people that they love. They're more consistent with their workouts than they've been in years. All of these amazing things start happening and they fail to celebrate those successes just because their main goal of being 130 pounds or whatever number, insert it here, has not happened yet. So it's almost like nothing else matters and they're still failing because they haven't gotten to that goal weight despite their entire life improving. On the flip side, getting to your goal weight means dog crap if you have to drop calories super low to get there. That's not gonna be sustainable. Because calories are super low, your digestion is suffering, your energy levels are suffering, you have intense cravings, you're just miserable because you're hungry all the time. That's not worth it, that's not sustainable, that is not something that is going to make you feel good in the long term. You may have some short term periods of excitement because you see that number on the scale, but that is short lived. That will not be a lasting feeling 
because you're gonna to start to feel more and more like crap if you genuinely cannot maintain at that goal weight. And not only that, but you might be remembering the person that you think you were at 130 pounds and seeing that person with rose-colored glasses on. A lot of the times when we look back at a previous time in our life, we see the good, right? We see all the positive things. We remember all the good stuff but we failed to remember that maybe we did actually not feel good. Maybe our energy levels were really low. Maybe that was a point where we weren't at our healthiest or we weren't able to sustain that and be consistent. So you have to take it with a grain of salt. And this is something that we work on exclusively with our one-on-one -on -one clients at SD Evolution. So if you need accountability and you feel like you need some guidance here, there's a link in my description of this video with more information. You can set up a free consult call with us. We'd love to chat and just see if we're a good fit for you. But my mission for you is to simply set some goals that have absolutely nothing to do with what the number on the scale says. You can still aim for fat loss if that is your goal, but even if fat loss is your main goal, it's still important to have some other additional focus areas and goals. Maybe it's strength goals, endurance goals, performance-based goals, lifestyle goals, habits. All of these things are really great to implement because then you're gonna start to win in more than one area and put your worth in more than one area aside from the scale or just simply how you appear. There's nothing wrong with having those goals, but combine those appearance and outwardly based goals with performance, lifestyle, habit factors. I hope this video was helpful. Make sure you comment below and let me know if it was. As always, I'd love to continue the conversation in the comments if you do have additional thoughts or maybe you can share something that may help someone out there who is struggling with wanting to be at a certain weight and really just can't break that mindset. Put it in the comments, let's chat, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.